Hey everybody, I'm Brian Way, and I'm gonna show you how I made a vacuum hold down table for my Avid CNC machine. Stay tuned and check it out. The first step is to take a sheet of one inch thick HDF and apply it to the cross members of the 8020 frame. Adhere it down using some silicone based adhesive and then screw it through the surface as many screws as you can get pre-drilling into that 8020 aluminum. You're gonna take some slow drying wood glue, apply it to the MDF surface as well as the HDF surface on the machine. You're gonna drop that piece right in place and temporarily screw it down until the glue dries. So here I'm assembling a previously designed manifold system that I use on my other machine. All right, so I got the manifold popped in, four valves. Those elbows are gonna go to the table after I mill it. This is the feed, the vacuum comes out. There's a filter system. Put a fern co in here this way, the vacuum could be serviced. Sometimes it needs brushes or if the motor goes, I gotta be able to pull it out. And uh, yeah, on to phase two. So here I'm taking the two inch PVC couplings and I'm applying some 2P10 adhesive to glue it to the plywood and MDF uh, from below the tabletop. Then I'm just taking a little bit of extra adhesive and running it around the coupling to make sure it's in there really secure and there won't be any air leakage. Now I pre-fit and assemble the rest of the pipework from above the surface of the table. I designed this four zone vacuum table. Uh, each of the zones has two pipes in it and those pipes are controlled by a single blast gate that you saw me assemble previously. After the plenum board was complete using the 3 8 spiral bit, it was then time to surface the tabletop to get it ready for the sacrificial piece of ultralight that would be sitting on top of it. Just be sure that plenum board is really clean before the next step. Blow out the pipes, blow out all the channels in the board. I added these diagonal raceways across the other raceways just because that's the point of entry for all the vacuum. And I just wanted to allow for an increased airflow across the board and as well as the channels help partition off each of the zones when they get turned on and off. So this is a pretty important part of the procedure. You're gonna to wanna to break that shiny surface off of the ultralight to help with the airflow when that gets flipped over and glued down to the plenum board. Now when gluing, you are only gonna to wanna to glue the plenum board, the squares on the plenum board. You don't wanna seal off the bot complete bottom side of the ultralight because you will stop the airflow from coming through. Just a light coat is all that's needed. So when you go to flip that board over, or slide that board over, use some sticks as if you're applying laminate, pull it over, drop it on, and then simply uh, run the vacuum system and hold it down for about 15 minutes or make your first cut while it's running and you're good to go. It's glued down, ready to use. I'm dropping a piece of foam on top of the table to increase the vacuum capacity and really hold that piece of ultralight down to the board probably talk a little bit about this vacuum hold down system that I'm using. It's uh, the Hurricane Box and it's made by Black Box Vacuum Systems. So the way I have this wired and controlled is through relay switch number one right on the Avid control box. And relay switch number one is controlled by the flood button on Mach 3. So I'm actually using their relay system to feed through and power a higher power, a 30 amp relay. And that is going into that small box right there on the left of the control panel. So as you hit the flood button, it powers the relay in the Avid system, and in turn, powers the coil in my 30 amp relay box, and that turns on the Hurricane hold down system. For more info about that vacuum hold down system, the link will be in the description. I'm Brian Way, thanks a lot for watching my video.